Don't you love when you make discoveries about yourself that you didn't quite know and you do it through a creative process? Well, that's kind of what I wanted to walk you through today. I just decided to turn the camera on. I'm cleaning up these stickers and I'm not doing a very good job of putting them back, but I wanted to showcase a little bit of my thought process behind using stickers in our planning. As many of you probably know, 2020 hasn't quite gone as we have planned. And so I think what we need to turn to are the things that bring us comfort and joy, even if it's just as minute and little as stickers. And because I have been working in my Archer and Olive planner and I've been doing a really good job of keeping track and keeping up with it, I should say. I wanted to show you what happens when I get a kit in. And I had intended on making this video for you last month. You can see here that I have actually shot footage of me opening up these sticker packs. And then, you know, life got in the way. So I didn't end up sharing with you all about the September Pro Pack and Little Pippi too, the jackets, but he is so excited about them. He gets them every month now. We just started a couple months ago and he's happy to share his sticker love with me, which I so appreciate. <laughs> and so if you all have kids in your life that need a good gift, I highly recommend this. And I'm going to put this September bunch away now some of them are mixed so they may have been from other months but for the most part I think I kept September together okay here is the lovely planner that if you've been following along on my other videos for plan with me you have seen pipstick stickers all over the place I mean that's one I could go on and on but almost on every single week you see some Pipstick stickers. And that is something that I intend to keep for 2021. I love how colorful they are. Let me zoom in here. In a way, they also dictate the color scheme and give me new ideas that are fresher than my typical rainbow or favorite colors that I seem to be using repeatedly. It's just a good way to change it up if you have a sticker that you really like then you can create a color scheme and a story around it. These noodles are really colorful, which matches my aesthetic for the most part. And here, you know, I challenge myself to only use a bluish aqua green combination going on. Then I switched over to pink. Anyway, you get the idea. And for the most part, like I said, almost every weekly spread has Pipstick stickers throughout. And I've linked below a discount code as well as a special link that you guys can use so that you can get 15% off if you're a new subscriber for the first three months. And you can cancel any time, I believe, but if you are like me, you just enjoy the boost of happy mail that you get every month because look, we all need something positive to look forward to, even if it's as small as these adorable little stickers. So I don't think that one's Pipsticks, but this one definitely is. Anyway, you get the idea and you can definitely go through my plan with me videos and see them for the whole year. I don't think I did a flip through of September. Maybe I did. Yeah, I think I might have. I'm not sure actually, but you're seeing it now. So here is October. This is the week we're going to catch up on. But before we do that, and then we can also lay out for next week. Okay, let's go over Little Pippi first. So Little Pippi, October 2020 is very festive, and though Halloween is going to look slightly different this year, we're not doing trick-or-treating. We are probably just going to do something very small, similar to a treasure hunt or like an Easter egg hunt with a couple of our neighbors who we've been quarantined with. They'll have their masks on and 
we'll do little packages. We've also gotten booed. So I don't know if anybody has gotten booed before, but that was our first time. So we got a basket and somebody rang our doorbell, left the basket and ran away. And it's just a little bag of goodies or I should say bin of goodies. This one came off. So let me put it back really quick. Okay, so how cute is this? So every month you get a little magazine and this is usually an activity book. There's a picture of Mo. And yeah, so they have activities in here. Oh, the paper has changed. I think the paper just changed. I like it. It feels good. Not as glossy. Very cool. Okay, so here, and then they talk about the collaborator, which is really fun and neat because little Mochi, oh my goodness, look at that. That is so funny. If you've seen Jack in, he definitely has that shirt. He actually gave it to his cousin handed it down and then he has this donut shirt which he handed down as well in Heather Gray oh and then the number shirts for the ages he's had I need to order a seven from her actually so she screen prints all her shirts by hand in Utah and she's a mom and she's super creative and adorable I highly recommend her shirts okay so that's really fun I'm glad I looked at that and showed it to you guys. Oh, look at these cute skulls. I think it's hard to find cute skulls and they've done a really good job. So very festive and we just started reading Harry Potter. I know we're very late, but I got it from a neighbor who is obsessed with it. And Jack and I just started it last week and we love it. So I think we're only on chapter five or six of the first book, but you know, owls have a new meaning to us now. We already liked owls because uh, JC is obsessed with them for some reason. So we have owls all over our house. So look how cute this puffy sticker is. This giant puffy. Can you guys see it? Okay, that's focused. That's better. Adorable. And here's a little postcard that we can probably include in our boo bag, maybe. And then here's some snakes. So you get the idea, really fun. There's little faces on these pumpkins. These little acorns are adorable. Really great colors. And I will probably base my next week on these colors and maybe even this week too as I do some ketchup. So I'm just gonna pile this up and then put them to use in one second. I should probably just put them back in this bag but I'm just going to take them out in a minute to use and have fun with. Another thing I've learned over the years is that as much as I love hoarding stickers, it's far more fun to actually put them to good use, to have them alongside your memories, even the super special ones that you want to save, because it's just a better way to express our creativity and use the designs that we love alongside our most precious memories. So I highly recommend you do that. And if you have a collecting, you know, obsession like I do, use your stickers, don't be afraid. And the nice thing about these packs too is you get a ton of stickers in each pack every month. And I think what I need to do better is give away the ones that don't really resonate with me and do it sooner instead of just collecting a bunch of them like I normally do. But we'll see, maybe that's a goal for next year. I actually just end up seeing ones that I know I definitely wanna use. I love these feathers, for example. But I do find that keeping the ones that I really, really like are great and keeping the sets together in these bags and in my dream box. This is actually how I store a lot of the stickers, especially from Pip Sticks. So you have the envelopes in here and it works. I mean, it's not the best, it's not ideal, but it's working. Here is a look at the Pro Classic pack. Sky above me, earth below me, fire within me. So this is a little postcard that you can hang up as well. It feels very much like October, right? <laughs> and this feels very Harry Potter-ish to me. So I think that this will be something that we enjoy using in 
my planner. Let's put these aside right here and break out the planner. Okay, even though the colors for last week weren't really intended for some of these, I think it'll incorporate nicely because if you look at the solid bluish purple color, it's almost exactly a match to the color that they have here, which is really neat. So I might even just, what, what I might do is just stick this one down to kind of level it off and then it'll bring in the other elements nicely. So I'll probably just put this to music unless I want to pop in and say anything important or talk you through the process. Remember these feathers that I loved? Yeah, they definitely have to get incorporated. And even though they didn't match perfectly with the scheme that I had started, I think it's actually gonna work out really, really well. I think these eyeballs are kind of funny. I'm going to put one near, I weigh 160 pounds. Baby's doing very well and she's healthy and I feel good even though I feel big, it's okay. 33 weeks is here, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. I'm using a Tombow Furunosuke. This is the black one, this is the soft tip that I love to use. too many of Jack's. I noticed that there are some scratch and sniff ones that he really likes and maybe we'll include this in one of the neighbor's baskets for Halloween and also I'm sure he'll have fun with these little dress-up monsters. So I think this is all I'm going to steal from Jack unless next week I feel like doing a few more of the owls. Let's see I might do, I might take a couple of these. I think we can put a little pumpkin for Halloween, even though, oh gosh, and Halloween's on a Saturday this year. My goodness. wrote a quote that I think I saw in James Clear email, but I don't know if it was him who said it. I'd estimate at least half of my frustrations with others are actually frustrations with myself for failing to set clear boundaries with them. And I really have been investigating into how I feel about boundaries and how it's really critical and essential to well-being for me to be brave with setting them and continue to be brave with setting them. So I really appreciate that quote and I had it in my phone, which is what I have been checking to fill in all these blanks as well. And I'll finish this up, but basically I'll show you the result after it's done. Here is the finished week and I might fill in a few blank spaces, but for the most part, I think it's done. I love the mix of the watercolor splotches with the writing and the tumble markers, also with the stickers. Everything feels very cohesive. I do want to tie in a little bit here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it offhand. Although while I'm looking here, I might just add it right now. Let's just add a few little stickers. How about it? See how it fits in them down. Cute. Okay. So I'm feeling that I probably could have just drawn a little pizza, which I might just do right now. That's a really bad pizza. <laughs> but 
It's okay. You get the idea. Here, I just put a couple stickers and some stamps so I can fill this in and add some stickers as I go. But I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of these stickers coming together and really adding to the planner. Feel free to leave any comments about your favorite stickers and I hope that you enjoyed watching the process of putting this together and also kind of the unboxing or unenveloping of the Pipsticks sticker packs for October. Thank you as always. You all are the best and I hope to see you soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you feel inspired to keep those creative juices flowing. One more. Okay, I might just go a little sticker crazy.